starring Tommy Rettig as Jeff Miller. Jan Clayton as his mother, Ellen. George Cleveland as Gramps. And, of course, Lassie. sleep and here it is Saturday you're practically the first one up don't you know what day today is Gramps Jeff you lost your hearing I just got through telling you Saturday even Lassie knows what day it is don't you girl confound it what's going on here have some more coffee dad I've wasted enough time here already I got a dozen things to do Oh, can't you take it a little easy today? Today's no different than any other day. It's Saturday, the 22nd. And it ain't getting any earlier. The chicken coop needs new wire, and I gotta load 10 sacks of potatoes and take them to town, and I gotta blast some dead stumps out of the North Meadow. And uh, Matt's coming for checkers at 3 o'clock. He doesn't remember. <laughs> well, with all those things on his mind, it's no wonder. Boy, will he be surprised at the party tonight? Oh, which reminds me, I have a cake to make. How many candles are you going to put on Graham's birthday cake? Just one, right in the center. One? Isn't there supposed to be one for each year? I don't want to start a fire. How old is Gramps? Well, I don't know, and I'm not sure that Gramps knows either. But he was born long before old automobiles, electric lights, and radios came into being, though. Holly, even you weren't here then. Uh, no, I, I wasn't. It's hard for me to think that you were never here once. First, people aren't here. And they are here. And they aren't here again. That's right, dear. I guess it's something you always know, but never think about. With people, I mean. Oh, it's just the way the world was made. Now, I suggest that you finish your breakfast, then, like a good boy, go help Gramps with his chores. Especially today. Did you know that you once weren't here, girl? <laughs> now, listen. I know I promised to take you fishing. This is Graham's birthday, so we gotta help him. Understand? Okay. Well, remember. Gramps? <clears throat> Dag nabbit. Gosh, what happened? What does it look like happened? You made me hit my thumb. I'm sorry, mm. Gramps. I didn't mean it. Well, all right. Now, where's my hammer? Huh? Come here with that hammer. Come on, girl, bring it here. Gramps needs it. Hurry up, I got work to do. Now give it to Graham. 
That's a good girl. Oh, 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 my bunion. Oh. Well, she didn't mean it, Gramps. Uh, first my thumb and, and then my foot. Are you two trying to maim me? We only wanted to help you. Well, then go fishing or do something. Stop hanging around like a couple of suckling calves. Well, can't we help you do anything? Yes, you can help me wind up in the hospital, but that I don't want to do. Now go on, scat. Go ahead. You were going to help Gramps. Son, hell. He told me to go fishing. Well, didn't you explain to him that you wanted to help? I didn't get a chance to explain hardly anything. He was fixing the chicken coop, and he said I made him bang his finger with a hammer, and then Lassie dropped the hammer on his foot. How did you accomplish all of that in such a short time? Things happen fast, that's all. And then he got mad and told us to scat. He said we were suckling calves. I know. Why don't you call Porky? And maybe both of you can help with something else while Gramps is busy with the chicken coop. Hey, that's a swell idea. Boy, he'll really be surprised when he finds his work is mostly done. What if Porky doesn't want to help me? It's Saturday and maybe he won't want to work. He never likes to work anyways. What does Porky like to do better than anything else? Saturdays or weekdays? Eat. Mm -mm. This is going to be a delicious cake. Can I promise him an extra piece of birthday cake? I think that might get results. Hello, Jenny. Would you ring Porky Brockways, please? Thanks, girl. What you doing? Bagging potatoes. Say, Porky, what kind of cake do you like best? All kinds. Don't you have a favorite? Like, for instance, chocolate layer? Is your mom baking one? Today's Gramps' birthday. I know, I'm coming to the party. Yeah, but there's something you don't know. Mom says you can have two pieces of cake. Wowie! But you gotta help me. Now, I heard him tell Joe King that he had to take ten sacks of potatoes into town. So I'm getting them ready for him. So what? Yeah, but if you help me, you'll get two pieces. And Mom says the fudge icing's gonna be this thick. Well, of course, if all you want with your ice cream is one piece of cake, it's all right with me. I just thought I was doing you a favor. How many bags? Ten. You know what we gotta do is fill them? Fill them and load them on the truck. Load them on the truck? Gramps can't take them into town unless we load them on the truck, can he? Oh, boy. Look, Porky, you don't have to do it. Nobody's forcing you. Nobody's forcing me. Except two pieces of cake with ice cream. Then I get the cake before we worked. That's all you've been talking about. Would have given me energy. And you're using all your energy just talking. Now we gotta load the sacks onto the truck. I sure hope that cake comes out good. You hand the sacks up to me, and I'll load them on the truck and stack them. Atta girl, you can help me up here. Why can't you help me down here? How do you expect her to lift a sack of potatoes? I sure hope your gramps appreciates what we're doing for his birthday. And another thing, don't mention anything about his birthday in front of him. It's supposed to be a surprise. It's turned out to be a bigger surprise than me. Hey, what are you doing? Now look what you've done. You keep it. Ever saw anything like it? Underfoot causing damage when you should be off playing. We were just trying to help. Nobody asked you to help. The wrong potatoes anyway. What's all the commotion? That's what's all the commotion. 
Well, we couldn't help it. It was an accident. Always something, never nothing, but always something. Honest, Mom, we couldn't help it. Oh, I, I know, dear. I just wanted to ask you to keep Gramps occupied for a few minutes more. I'm going to take the cake out of the oven, and I don't want him coming into the kitchen. Oh, you think I can? Well, you just have to. See if you can keep him for, for five minutes anyway, okay? Well, I'll try. Hear that, Lassie? Gramps can't go in the kitchen for five more minutes. Mm -hmm. I'll get another sack. Can't understand it. When you need them, they're busy, and when you don't want them, they're there every time. Porky, Mom says we gotta keep Gramps out of the kitchen for five minutes. Why? Because she's taking the cake out of the oven. My cake? Gramps' birthday cake. Here. Now, do you mind taking a little instruction? Mm -mm. All right. Then put all those potatoes in the sack, and when you're finished, I'll stitch her up. Okay. okay. All right. Yes! What's the matter now? What if all the potatoes don't fit into the sack? Yeah. For all the potatoes that don't fit in that sack, I'll eat them raw. Now start filling her up. Now listen, no more your foolish questions. Just do as you're told to do, and don't call me again until you're finished. Lassie, stop him. What? What? Here, let go. Let go of my leg. Let go of my leg, I tell you. You got mad or something? Let go. Let go. Is everything all right out here? All right. I never put in such a day in my life. Can someone come in the kitchen now and wash their hands and face or something? Why, certainly, dear. Yeah. I think that's beautiful. Sure is pretty. All right, now, before the three of you fall in the cake. I thought you had things to do. What else can we do? Gramps says he doesn't want us near him. And I think he's right. Of course, my stomach hurts from working. I know what you can do. And you'll not only be out of Gramps' way, but it'd be a great favor to me. What? Is it hard? Nah, you'll enjoy it. You can go down in the meadow and pick me two huge bunches of wildflowers to decorate the party. Okay. Bending over hurt my stomach more. But think how nice it'll be when you fill it with ice cream and cake. Come on. Hey, there's some daisies over there. I can't run so fast. Oh, come on. Boy, look at all of them. That ought to do it. Hey, there's some red flowers over there. What good are flowers anyway? You can't eat them. Well, they look pretty at a party. I don't know. Seems like a lot of trouble, especially when your gramps don't even care. Well, he cares all right. He just forgot it's his birthday, that's all. Well, if he forgot, how can he care? Oh, come on.
enough of these. Oh, all right. Where's Lassie? I'm chasing a rabbit or something. Lassie? Lassie! Lassie! see hiding the hair of you for the rest of the afternoon. Now, is that plain enough talk? But it wasn't our fault, Gramps. Well, if you'd been off minding your own business like you should have been, it never would have happened. Why, well, I shiver when I think we all might have been killed. You think we wanted to be killed. Now, you go on the house and you stay there. And you, you go on home and, and tell your folks what you've been up to today. And tell them you're lucky you're alive. I still don't know what you're blaming me and Jeff for. We're only trying to help get things done for the birthday party tonight. But I guess when you get older, you're not much interested in birthdays and parties and things. Birthday? Party? Well, what's he? Birthday. It must be Jeff's birthday, and I forgot all about it. I can't talk now. Well, where are you going? Go to town. Call Matt Brockway and tell him no checkers today. What? He just rushed off. Said he had to get into town. Was he still mad? Ah, oh, now don't you worry about that. You know Gramps is all bark and no bite. I know, but I probably spoiled his whole birthday for him. Now, you did nothing of the sort. And now that he has gone into town, you can help me get things ready. Come on. Oh, he should have been back by now. Maybe he met the widow Hopkins, eh? He's probably out packing all the fresh potatoes. Mom, it couldn't have taken this long to drive to town and back. Oh, now, don't worry, dear. He's here! Better late than never. He's really going to be surprised. Quiet. Now, everybody, just like we planned, wait on the front porch. You sneak around the back. Jeff, I want to apologize for being such a grumpy, forgetful old man, and I want to wish you... Dad, I think there's someone at the front door. Surprise! Happy birthday, George. Happy birthday. <laughs> oh. Well, I just don't know what to say, that's all. We'll blow out the candle. <laughs> Make a wish first, Dad. And don't tell anybody. Make a good one, Mr. Miller. It'll come true, you'll see. <laughs> 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 
Quiet, everybody. George is going to make a speech. Uh, I guess there's one speech that uh, I should make, and that's to Jeff Boy. Would you forgive your old Grams for yelling at you? Gosh, Gramps, I don't mind that. All the same, I got no business not tolerating young folks. If it weren't for the young people around to remind me that life was worth living, I guess I'd be pushing up a batch of daisies long ago. <laughs> oh, and uh, this, I, uh, a genuine compass. I got it for you so you'd know where you were going. For me? It's your birthday. Well, can I buy a little present and give it to somebody if I want to? Porky! Did you want me? Oh. Now, I'm going to cut this cake, and I'm just going to see what kind of an appetite you really got. Hey! <laughs> Rams, look! Well, I'll be... Gosh, I couldn't have got a better present. Especially when it ain't dropped on my foot. <laughs> Here, Porky, go to it. <laughs>